Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to my next video. Today marks exactly two months of using the uh, Chin's 300 amp hour deep cycle battery, lithium iron phosphate. And a lot of people have been asking me to keep up a periodic review on how it's been working for me, so I said I would do that. Today marks two months of continuous use. It is on 24 7 uh, running this Power Bright 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. So, some of the things that I've learned about this battery uh, over the past two months is you know, you don't have to achieve. Uh, a full charge like you would be looking for on lead acid batteries which is nice especially in a environment that gets a lot of intermittent sunshine um, I would say I've been cycling about uh, between 80 and maybe about 30 percent uh, continuously for the past couple of months it's worked just perfectly I've never been without power one day. I'm not running a huge amount of power, but it's keeping the household running just as I would have hoped by using a uh, using this as a drop-in for the old lead acid bank that I used to use. So it's working absolutely as I wanted it to, no complaints whatsoever. So for those of you that have been uh, watching this battery wanting to get it but see how it does over the long term i can tell you two months in 24 7 operation it hasn't hiccuped one single time it's working exactly what i wanted it to do so what i've got laid out here now is i'm i'm going to upgrade uh this inverter here from a 600 watt to either 2000 or the 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So in preparation for that, I've got a few things going here and I'm just laying out the, the configuration of how I think I want to hook it up. So what I've got is uh, some nice uh, one aught welding cable. It's nice and flexible, heavy duty. It'll be able to handle the larger inverter, no problem. Uh, you know, got the positive and negative. And so what I'm going to do so I can get off of chasing everything with that voltmeter, as a lot of you know I've been using over the past couple of months to check the status of the battery, uh, because the charge controller gives just a little bit difference uh, of a reading than you will on the terminals on the battery. But all in all, the uh, it's just been working fantastically. So what I'm going to do is, of course, run those cables off the battery. And on the positive side, I'm going to put this 200 amp breaker uh, fuse. And what I plan to do is, is put it right like that. Put this short, also a one aught cable, onto this side of it, and then run this side of it to the inverter. So I will have a, a 200 amp fuse uh, coming off the positive end of the battery, which uh, should be adequate for the size inverter that I'm planning on running. The other thing, so I can finally put that voltmeter away, is uh, here's that uh, Ali or Q work, depending, it's uh, advertised under both names, uh, battery indicator, battery monitor, which will give you uh, like a gas gauge reading exactly where your batteries are sitting. Um, and that's going to be most helpful uh, to just at a glance be able to see what state it is. Because as those of you that are running this type of chemistry know, uh, the voltage on your charge controller doesn't change a whole lot. Um, 
during charge or discharge. So if you really want to see a great uh, state of your battery bank, put in a battery monitor. So this this uh, monitor came with a, a shunt here. And I'm going to uh, hook the negative side up to there. And then uh, what I want to do, and I'm pretty sure this is right, and if any of you are doing it differently or have any advice of, of maybe a different configuration, I'm going to pull the, the, the power negative off to a bus bar and then tie it in uh, to the inverter off the bus bar. And then I want to hook up this uh, 12 volt uh, fuse block to run a few uh, small 12 volt lights. And I'm thinking that I'll be able to uh, tie into the bus bar there and then take off of one of the other uh, terminals in there to the, the negative side of this fuse block. And then I'll be good to go to run the uh, small appliances off of the fuse block there. So on the uh, positive bus bar, my thoughts are to pull a, a small cable from this side of it, uh, coming off the battery connection side, except on the uh, on yeah on the positive here. Pull a wire from the, there to there, and then I can go from there to their positive side. So that's my that's my thinking. I've been uh, going over this and researching this what everybody else is doing and getting good results with. And this looks to be uh, the right configuration for when I boost up the inverter here shortly to make sure I've got the properly sized cables. I'm running a little small on this, but on this 600 watt inverter currently used, I, um, I'm not running anything to, to jeopardize this system at this point. So I'm doing really well, but uh, this is what I'm thinking about for for the next step in this evolution of uh, using the lithium. So yeah, one aught cables, 200 amp fuse. Uh, I believe this is rated at 200 amps as well on this sh uh, shunt for the monitor. I might be mistaken on that. I'll have to uh, look again and see what that is. And then all you do to, once it's tied in, once this uh, monitor is tied in, uh, you just, it's, it's got a little adapter here that just plugs straight into that. Um, and then you just pull a positive line uh, off your positive side into there. And uh, everything I've seen is pretty simple. Of course, I overthink everything. Uh, that's why I'm asking for advice. If anybody sees anything that would be wrong in this configuration and want to give me some advice, I'm definitely open to that. Um, so I just decided to combine this two-month review of this uh, Chin's 12-volt, 300-amp-hour lithium iron phosphate battery into the next step of upgrading this with a more powerful inverter and the right uh, fuses, um, battery monitor shunt, and a couple of breakers. The breakers is the only part where I, uh, the bus bars, excuse me. Uh, the bus bars is the only thing that's kind of new for me. Um, but since I do want to run some 12 volt appliances and connect them up to this uh, box here, that's kind of what I'm looking at. So anyway, um, that's where I'm at now. That's the next project at hand. And by the time I get the inverter, I will have it all uh, ironed out exactly how to proceed. But I'm thinking that that's, that's the way to go. And I think it looks pretty good. So anyway, any of those, any of you that have been uh, 
curious how that battery has been doing for me for the past couple of months. Just couldn't be happier. I mean, it's just, I don't even have to be running back in here and checking on it like I do, but I could take a break because it's just working flawlessly. Very happy with things. Okay, I'll keep you guys tuned in on how this next little step goes, but if you see anything in here and what I've explained for, I hope it was self-explanatory. Uh, some of this is a little new for me. Hoping I don't make any mistakes. But if I do, I'll be taking one for the team so you don't have to. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think. But I'm telling you, a big fan of that battery. Gonna get another one, no doubt. All right, aloha. Catch you later.